I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Welcome back for race number three, which is the opening leg of the pick six, which is due off at 13.40. They'll do battle over 2,000 metres. Following the box seat podcast, 64 handicap for the fillies and mares. And this is the time you need to get those pick six a rocking and a rolling. Now, Warren, when you look at race number three, once again, a very wide open betting affair here. So you've got to take your pick. And a horse like number one, Wedding Bliss from the Nathan Cotson team, I think looks primed now. The stables had her for a few runs in KwaZulu Natal. A good second to Raspberry Beret. Ran second to Chelsea Flower, four runs back. Gets the best of the draw. So that's probably the horse they got to beat. I like a little bit of number seven, Eye Catching, at around 12 to 1. It's come down to a 55 in the ratings. Was once upon a time an 83. And then you've got Bay Breeze, name of the game. How do you assess this race? Uh, difficult, very, very difficult, as it says on the top of my page here. And I'm glad you mentioned Bay Breeze because I was happy to see her come back to near her best. She ran third last time to Lady Tiptree. The syndicate that owned her, uh, along with all the other partners, made it no secret that they were having, having a place bet on her and she ran a very good race. So I, I, I believe she can build on that last run. Um, Wedding Bliss, although she's making us wait for her next win, she certainly is knocking at the door, knocking loudly. She'll have a lovely run around from gate one. Um, she has dropped in the rating as well from a 70 to a 59, so certainly one uh, to keep an eye on. Iron Chef for Teddy Prince, who's doing well. Uh, very good last win. Got three points for, for her last win, but I'm not concerned about that. She could follow up. Name of the game. Last two runs. Yeah, we're, she ran fifth, but overall form, she'll have a chance. Yeah, you can make a case for a lot of them, Sheldon. Mode also taking her time to win her next race. Q for you. Uh, is a horse that's probably going to go to the front and, and set the pace. Difficult, difficult race. I haven't got an, a standout first choice. I, I'm, I'm going to be including quite a few in my pick six here because it's that difficult. So probably being about as much use as an ashtray on a motorbike, uh, it's tough. It really is tough. I'm not going to be having a bet on the nose here. So there you heard it from Warren, race number three, as expected, and as I see it, very, very tough. But number seven, are catching, I think at around 12 and 14 to one for the swingers, trifectas and exactors, worth throwing into all the play. But you take your pick, you be the judge, the opening leg of the pick six goes as wide as your budget will allow. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. <laughs> 